and clip anyway. The great property debate, 50 years of capital growth, which does better, the East or the West? We're gonna give you a really good snapshot in this morning's video, stay tuned. Oh, wrong button. <laughs>
if you bought it for a million for a million dollars, it would be worth eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars more in ten years' time. That's what eighty three percent. Bosley Park. Uh, Bosley Park is fifty four percent. They're they're down in sales forty percent. So something's happened in there. But it's good to have a look at. Then we got Mona Vale up seventy two percent. Seventy two. I've got a few out of area. Casula up 72%. So very Kasula different. units, Casula houses. All, of, all of these are houses. All of these are 10-year growth. So a lot of people always sort of say, well, if you're not Northern Beach, like you've got to buy Northern Beaches, otherwise there's no growth. But this sort of really contradicts that. You've got 60% in Hurstville. Then we've got... Hurstville would probably be more known, I think, as a unit suburb. I'm not sure about that, yep. the next one. Guildford, 80%. That's a uh, house up of 80% growth. Yeah, Epping, Epping, 172 sales a year, 72% growth. Yep. Uh, can't Strong. pronounce that one. 64% percent growth. Canania. Gen yeah, Gen where was it? Have a go. I'd, I'd love to hear you try. Gen Gen Ali, Gen Ali, Ali, Gen Ali, Gen Ali. How much has that gone up? Sixty percent. Then you've got here's another one. Why did I pick so shit ones? Pan, not like not growth, just name for me to pronounce. <laughs> uh, Pan. <laughs> anyway, so Penania. that's Penania, sixty-seven percent. Uh, yep, what have we got here? Cogra, Cogra, 62%. Yep. 78% is Beecroft. Okay. You guys get the gist. All across New South Wales, all across all different sort of areas, dip, like very different de demographics. Like a lot of people looking to buy Mona are not looking at Epping or Hurstville and vice versa. So I know a lot of people always arm wrestle where to buy. They always try and pick the spot. But if you just basically dropped a pin somewhere in like New South Wales mapped and you just dropped a pin, you know, that's where I'm going to buy, you're probably on average going to be making 65 70% over 10 years, some up to 90%, some a little bit lower. But the main common thing is all growth. And what's that importance, Mark, just to sort of see that on a very, on a 30,000 helicopter view, why is that important? What does that show in your opinion? Oh, look, I, I think we've taken 10 years. If you span that over a, 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 someone's lifetime, that's an enormous amount of money. Like if you, if you span, if you consider you're, you're buying a property in your, when you're in your 20s and, you, and you're upgrading maybe that property in your 30s and you're going to have, it's going to be a family home. Your kids are going to go through the home. Your kids are going to go through university. It's going to be 30 years later of property ownership. That compounds, that doubles, that it doubles, that it doubles again potentially. So if, you know, if you're looking at some of those suburbs that have done 70%, which is most of those there, uh, that's a 10 year period. You take that on a, on a sink, on a cycle. Um, it's almost double every 10 years when you look at that on a cycle basis. You know, these cats that are buying something for a for million dollars today, it will turn to $2 million and it will turn to $4 million uh, and then potentially $8 million in their lifetime. That's a lot of Benji's to be sitting on in, in a lifetime for someone and they're not going to have to pay tax on it. So this is a serious thing, capital growth for people. Now, is it going to do in the future? I'll leave that to you guys, but it's certainly done it in the past and certainly done it in the last 50 years. 100%. And also, it's one of those things where if you look at the last 10 years, your saving patterns, and let's say if, if most people are earning 60 grand a year, they may be able to save 10%, six grand a year. So over 10 years... They're saving 60000 But if they were able to buy a property for, say, half a million, that's almost worth a million now. They've saved 500000 In the time frame, they may save 60000 just with that capital growth. So especially for a lot of people out there where it's like, oh, it's cheaper to rent, which obviously with rates now, it's in most cases, it's not. They're like, where, why buy? Like, that's basically a capital growth is... The reason and a main reason why people 
want to buy a property because it's sort of foolproof savings with past when we're looking in the past it's been foolproof savings and it's been like that for 50 years um as you said where, where it's going to go in the next 10 20 years that's up to you to make the own decision but uh, let's look at what's happened in the past a couple comments here uh, luke uh, and invest buy 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 60 percent drop to come as we said on many shows i think uh, the property market is just going to continue to surge while we don't have other factors in our economy like immigration, education, tourism, the the property market is going to get bumped up uh, and that will come through construction as well. So I don't see it dropping anytime soon. I reckon, te- I reckon it's going to be a good two years of growth. Um, what happens after that, we'll have to see where our economy is. Best tax minimization, property... Yep, that's that's in the relation. It's a very good point you said there, Mark. You've got to earn double, like you've got your income has to be double compared to what it is with income on property. Your property goes up 50 grand, tax free principal uh, residence, that's 50 grand. You earn 50 grand, you're paying half tax. I think a lot of people, they overlook that. They overlook that. Um, uh, Yeah. I think that's. I think when you crystallise that the, the um, when you crystallise the, the property on on selling it, that's when you actually pay the tax. But if you look at an income of a person, you must really whether you spend that money or don't spend that money or realise that money or don't realise that money, you must pay tax. So yeah. property is a great thing that you, you can. You, you, any tax commitment, the tax commitments are lower, and if if there is any tax to commitment, you can defer that until the sale right at the end, whereas an income that I make this year, I have to pay this year. It's very different. So property is good that way. It's friendly that way. Luke, seven, uh, 70%. Luke put in San Remo, New South Wales. Houses have gone up 70% in 10 years. Uh, it doesn't note any units. So I'm not sure if there's any units. Yeah. If you've got any suburbs, you can know the growth on guys last 10 years, throw them at us, we'll give, you, we'll give it to you right now. Um, yeah. And what else, buddy? What is, so that's that, that's probably good. Now, and Miles mentioned something about um, stamp duty. There's talk, again, there's a bit of talking on stamp duty with the government um, about changing the model. The model and Miles been t- talked about in her comments there is a, uh, it looks like a bit of an American model. In America, you pay on an annual basis rather than a big upfront basis. So that'd be interesting to see what they do. Mm. Big, uh, okay, if you're buying, and, and what Luke says, careful with the regionals, 100%. Obviously, farms, different. A lot of the areas we grabbed were sort of like, yeah, not CBD, but sort of, yeah, what do you call them, metropolitan areas. Oh, give me yes. Give me a give me a farm place. Yes. Give me yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Houses. Yes. Yes. 42%. How much? 42. Over 10 years? Over 10 years. Give me, uh, what's a good country suburb? Give me Mudgee. Mudgee, 10 years, 42%. So it's been- give, give me Cowra. What type of, how do you spell it? What is it? See it, cow? Yeah. Rah. C-O-W-R-A. Cowra. 36. 36. There you go, guys. Uh, Looks like the rural suburbs are punching under the 50% capital growth. Yep. Any other other ones you want to give us? Uh, Okay. If buying in Northern Beaches right now, I'd be looking for more affordable homes, Chroma. Yeah, and I think a big thing, if it's an investment, and I know, Mark, you've been preaching this for years, especially with land tax costs, if you're you're going to be buying a house, because there's different models, houses versus apartments, but if you're looking to buy a house for an investment, really be looking for a property that you can have two, even three incomes. I know you've done this personally, Mark, and it makes a big difference to the overall. Like, yes, like if you get in the house, you're going to get the capital growth. But in a lot of suburbs, the land tax is almost like, I know Narrowena, some properties house, like a three-bedroom house, 
for 1.5 would rent for 40 grand a year and your land tax is 10 or 12 grand like it wipes it it like it really wipes out the you're trying to get the positive cash flow but if you can get a house with a granny flat get a house with maybe two kitchens and you can use your imagination on that one it can really make a big difference orange lucas said let's have a look hey I love orange, yeah, I love the orange. I want to know about Parramatta units because been, there's been so many units that have gone into Parramatta, Chatswood units as well. Um, orange Grove. Do you want to know how to spell orange? Yeah, I've got it just. 60% 10 years houses. Parramatta. Orange. So Parramatta units are up 67%. Houses up 84%. So look at Bondi. And, and uh, where was that? That was Parramatta. Bondi. How much was it again? Uh, it was, hang on. Does Bondi. Does Bondi. 88% for houses and 75% for units. So look at Manly. Chatswood. Chatswood houses, wow, 94%. And apartments, 49%. That's down a lot. 200 sales. Rental yield, wow. Rental yield, 3% down, 36%. Interesting. What's the last year? Has it all been in the last year? Students. Yeah, Students number. Yeah, that, that's, that's the last year, yeah. There's 10% alone. No, that's the last year for the rentals, yeah. And uh, Manly? Let's have a look at Manly. Wow, Luke just said Parramatta units over 600 available for rent. Well, they went from like 4,000 units to 16,000 or probably 20,000 now in five years. So there, there's always going to be that. Manly houses, 94% and apartments. 40. 94 percent so yeah it's big all righty what are the what have apartments done in manly sorry i missed it 94 percent massive capital growth for manly yeah so what's the point here it's to don't shoot the messenger don't shoot the messenger there's data where wherever there's good town centers good transport or beach lifestyle virtually anywhere in Sydney with those sort of boxes ticked because they're all very different. Some are uh, better transport to the city but don't have the beach. Some have the beach and not as good transport. Like a lot of those things are key factors when people are looking to buy and a lot of them will counter, like someone will go transport sucks, I won't buy there, there won't be good growth. Um, well, by the looks of it, it will have very similar growth where another buyer will be like, there's no beach there, it's going to have crap growth, so I won't buy there. So a lot of it sort of contradicts what a lot of buyers say will be good for an area. The main point of it is we're in a beautiful area, New South Wales, Sydney, and it doesn't really matter where you buy. Obviously, there's good buyers within buyers, but give it enough time, you're going to have that growth. As Luke said, the message is that you buy and Sydney Metro, uh, you know, and uh, regional did much better than uh, uh, New South Wales rural in some of them, a lot of, yeah. in a lot of those averages. So, yeah. And Luke, I think Luke pointed out a really good point with Parramatta. We, there's always, when you look at, like, we just took a, a very macro look, 10 years, quite a big period of time. But you will always find if you take a micro look, there'll be times where it's it could be better or it's worse. Like Parramatta right now. It's probably a crap time for your investment yield. But let's see how it unfolds. And you've got to look at why. That, but And then look at over the long term because someone may look, oh, Parramatta is a bad place to buy right now because of that. But if, there, if you've got a lot of people buying, you've got a lot of activity, well, you would think long term that may actually be a good place to buy. So you've really got to take that long term view with property. And if they're looking to make Parramatta a new Sydney CBD, there's always, what do you want to call it, growing pains. There's always going to be that balance. They flood the market, build, yeah. then 
maybe in 10 years there won't be much building, just like Sydney CBD, not much building compared to Parramatta when they're building it. So you're going to have time. So you can't just look at it within a six-month or a year period. Look at the 10 years and look at the 10-year plan is a big one. That's oh, look, a- it's, it, you can... You can see with manufacturers, with sometimes when they when they when they make something really spectacular, it becomes a limited edition when they stop going in, going into production. So, you know, I, I think you do have to, you know, to crystallise what you've just said. You know, you do have to look at um, how much is going to be coming onto the market in the future, and how much has just come on as to what snapshot you take. And Parramatta is a good example of that. You may find Parramatta. Parramatta just gets built out. It does not have more opportunity for, for more new buildings, a bit like DY, and then mm. it just goes like that. So who knows? Very true. But that's right, a little bit longer than normal, but thank you, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow morning as well. We have an accountant, Harry, on tomorrow to talk about some um, tax stuff. So if you love numbers, oh, I love tomorrow. Harry went off last week. The numbers were big on, so that was awesome. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Ledge. Cheers. Bye. See everybody.